Okay, to do a classic car restoration, having a spot weld cutter is such a luxury. You say a uh, spot cutting what? Spot weld bit, hell, daddy's got a whole toolbox full of them shiny ones, too. But getting the right one, there's something to that, all right? What it is. This is the O'Reilly Auto Parts one. As you can see, it's chipped up, screwed up. We'll show some footage of it in action. But what it is, there is a spring-loaded little tip, okay? You can push down on it pretty hard. It helps you kind of use it as a, a starting point. No pun intended. But as you can see here, you got threads or what used to be threads on both sides. So if you chew them all up like I did on the top side and you're using it, you just unscrew it, flip it over, screw it back in. You got a second set of threads. They must do this because they know how bad they suck. That's the only thing I can figure. All right. Now, this is from O'Reilly's. This is about $16 or $17. Now... The gimmick one is this one. As you can see, the shaft is polished on the shiny ones too. O'Reilly's one. All right, the point is a little sharper on the O'Reilly's one. Um, the insides are a little different. I think those are Allen keys so you can pull out the tip and rebuild this thing, but they're so cheap. I couldn't imagine rebuilding one. You just throw it away and get another one. You can see the teeth on it are marred up to and broken off. Look at that. This one's got the same kind of deal. You can flip it over and put on new threads, but I'm going to tell you right now, this one's $4.95. It's not worth $0.49. Cents. This is a piece of crap. Now, to do this correctly, you need to drill a pilot hole right through the dead center of the spot weld or as close as you can get it, and then you put this in there. You get it going. Um, not super high RPMs, but not real low either. I don't know what a thousand RPMs is like on a drill, but anyways, you want to get it going, uh, you'll be able to feel it out and you slowly let it eat the metal up. You don't just jab it or you'll tear the teeth all up. Now, if you don't drill a pilot hole, you will absolutely tear the teeth all off of it. Just like this. Okay. Both of these are terrible. Before I knew about the third product I'm going to show you, both of these were my only two options other than a half inch drill bit. And if you're going to do it that way, let me pull something out and show you this. If you're going to use a drill bit and you happen to have a set, the 3 8 or half inch drill bit is about the way to go. Now, this is far superior, I think, to using either one of these but it has its drawbacks. This has a pilot tip. What, what will they, they think, think of, of next? next? It's a DeWalt bit. I don't endorse DeWalt bits because to be honest, they suck too. But the pilot tip on there is huge. This, not literally, but this is a big help, okay? I was using this exclusively before I found out about these. These two were what I was using. Now let's get to the damn point and the best part of this. This here, you see this thing compared to this? This is called a Blair Premium Spot Weld Drill Bit. It's made in the USA. Look at the damn arbor on this thing. Do you see that compared to this little piddly turd? <laughs> this is a real deal spot weld cutting machine. This in order, best or worst, okay? Best is the Blair tool. You can even buy these heads separately. They come in a three-pack, which makes it absolutely awesome. Okay? That. And then this, the half-inch DeWalt drill bit. So the Blair tool, then that bit. Then comes the O'Reilly spot cutter, and then the Harbor Freight, which only reason it's in the list is because I bought it and tried it out.
O'Reilly's typically carries one on the shelf. It's next to their regular drill bits and their easy outs and their like tool section. Well, you know where to get that. Now this, I don't know. I have to. I went and got it from the local auto body paint shop and it had about an inch of dust on it. I saw two roaches jump over it in a damn dune buggy. That's how much dust was on it. So I don't know how old it is, if there's a newer model or what, but this thing's bad to the bone. I'll Okay, so you can see with the pilot hole drilled, the Irwin does an okay job. If you've got a hundred spot welds ahead of you replacing, I don't know, a floor pan or a cowl or something like that on your restoration, uh, not having to drill that pilot hole for at least half of them can be a glorious thing. So here we go. No pilot hole drilled. You're going to see it shreds the teeth right off of this thing. And that was a, a very dimpled up spot weld. So it should have ate that up with no problem. Look at that. Now you can flip it over and go to town again, but here it is, the Blair Premium Spot Weld Cutting Tool. It's gonna absolutely eat this thing up. And this was a rounded over plug weld somebody put in. It should have truly struggled on this. Now you can see I'm kind of looking at this panel like where is the next plug weld? because the job someone did here was absolutely awful. But it's no match for the Blair tool. It eats right through it. If you like what you see, you like the tool reviews, you know what to do. I ain't gonna say that same shit everybody else says. I'd prefer you leave a comment because I'm more about the progress, the learning. Click the subscribe and all that that'd be awesome but i'd rather you contribute to the learning if you got some a better tool than this hell please share it you know i've seen guys shoot them out with a plasma cutter but that that's besides the point i don't want to blow a hole through there or else i just drill all the way on through it the goal is to eat through the top layer leave the bottom layer intact so we can weld our new welds to it that's how you want to do it <laughs>